very exciting times for us and we hope Time Team fans around the world. Uh, if we've not met, my name is Tim Taylor. I'm the series producer and creator of Time Team. And I'm really pleased to announce that it's now official. Time Team is coming back by popular demand thanks to all our lovely supporters on Patreon. We know that many of you are eager for more details and I'm going to give you an overview of what's happening, where we'll be digging and introduce you to some of the fantastic members of the team confirmed so far. We have two incredible sites lined up to dig this year, a grand Roman villa in central England and a mysterious Iron Age settlement on a far western peninsula. Both may hold vital insights into the elusive distant past and Time Team is ready to help uncover them. Right now, things are pretty busy here. We're assembling the team, dealing with all the production and logistic arrangements of the shoots. The digs will be taking place in late summer, early autumn, COVID allowing, and with the episodes airing before the end of 2021. Wherever you are in the world, from America to Australia, from New Zealand to Norway, you'll be able to watch the shows for free on the Time Team official YouTube channel. Throughout the development and research process, our supporters on Patreon will be able to access additional content and benefits, including extended behind the scenes interviews, engagement with our online polls, an interactive discussion with myself and others. This will help you comment and guide the progress of how the programs develop. And also, of course, it'll give you a chance to engage with many of Time Team's other fans in over 40 countries worldwide. Already, thousands of you have subscribed and have begun to be part of the team, giving us invaluable feedback and suggesting ideas for what you'd like to see in the program. So I'd like to tell you a bit more about our two sites. Let's take a closer look at our Roman villa at Broughton. It has all the hallmarks of a classic time team, a high status villa, almost as large as Buckingham Palace, some people say, which would make it one of the largest villas ever discovered in the UK. We might find mosaics, possible burials, a posh bathhouse, painted plaster, we just don't know, we'll see. Situated on the Broughton Castle Estate, which is home of the Fines family in Oxfordshire, it's in a strategically important location between key Roman roads and not far from the major Roman town of Corinium, Sirencester. Why have we chosen it? Well, it's an ideal site to showcase exactly what Time Team can do with today's technology. There's a guarantee of fantastic archaeology, evidence of physical structures, which promises to be an amazing visual treat for viewers. We'll be using new 3D scanners to create an internal picture of just what lies underneath the ground. Broughton offers opportunities for ongoing legacy work and future digs on other historic features in the landscape. What do we aim to achieve? We hope to establish the full extent and plan of the villa, uncover potentially new mosaics, and the long-term chronology of the site from the Iron Age to the medieval history of the castle. And we also want to create a legacy for future work. Our other site is an Iron Age settlement with an underground chamber and tunnels known locally as Fugus. Located on the Lizard Peninsula in far west Cornwall, it's close to a number of really important prehistoric sites and near to Gear Farm, which we excavated in Time Team in one of our early series. We chose it because it was the fans' favourite, topping a poll of thousands of Time Team fans on Patreon and it represents an extremely rare opportunity to excavate an Iron Age settlement where we can use our new GPR geophysics to locate mysterious underground features. It also has evidence of high status finds, 
which may link it to continental trade. The key question, can we establish the extent of the Fugu complex and also find out about the nature of the continental links and the potential for trading in minerals and other precious materials that this site seems to be the center of. We also want to work with the local community to establish a long-term legacy for this site. Following the time team tradition, the physical excavations will continue to take place within a fixed time frame, our famous three days. So while there are many questions we would like to answer about both sides, we will of course have to sharpen our focus upon a key question that we have a good chance of answering within the time limit. However, one notable development since the original time teams is the flexibility that platforms of Patreon and YouTube provide. On Patreon, we are already sharing additional preliminary research and development videos in the build-up to the digs. And now we have scope to develop our understanding of the sites further as new insights come to light over time. You may have seen some of the fresh information on previous Time Team digs on Patreon and YouTube. With the new sites, we'll be able to look at multiple perspectives and share a range of information on a scale previously unimaginable. The door will also be left open to return for future digs on the sites, perhaps to answer new questions that came to light from the original investigations. One of Time Team's strengths has always been the range and breadth of expertise, skills and different perspectives contributed by the members of the team and guest experts. The two new shows continue this tradition, combining familiar faces, many of them old friends, with some new ones, bringing together some of the finest minds and techniques working in archaeology today. There are still more names yet to be announced, but we're delighted to share just a few of the confirmed teams so far. Carenza Lewis. Carenza was one of the original key members of Time Team and now Professor for the Public Understanding of Research at the University of Lincoln. She'll be bringing her analytical eye and her strategy comprehension and her community links to the proceedings. John Gator, Time Team's Geophys Wiz, has been instrumental in mapping the landscape beneath our feet time and time again, providing targets for the team to investigate. John brings the latest technological advances to the new digs. Helen Geek, our small fine specialist, Anglo-Saxon expert and all-round understanding of what happens to the small finds. Her good humour and insights will be incredibly valuable if the going gets tough. Stuart Ainsworth. No one can read the landscape quite like Stuart and we're delighted he's returning to provide a clear sense of the bigger picture placing our sights in the wider context. He is an inheritor of the landscape archaeology concept that was so favoured by Mick Aston. Rezan Kubasi, Time Team's brilliant graphics expert who turned the archaeology into 3D buildings and brought it to life. He'll be working remotely from us from his base in New Zealand and it'll be fascinating to see how that relationship works. Neil Emmanuel, Time Team's 2D artist in residence, illustrator and altogether graphics genius. He'll be providing all those essential maps and diagrams that tell us more about another detail connected with the site. Naomi Sue Paul, environmental archaeologist Naomi has a great eye for detail. She can even identify a bone with her eyes closed and she'll be bringing a whole range of environmental information, all those bugs, plants, seeds and bones that only she can identify. Matt Williams, our ever popular digger, trench supervisor and willing historic reenactor returns with his charm and keen eye for stratigraphy. 
Matt found his find of a lifetime, ancient Ogham script on Time Team, but can he do one better on the new digs? Henry Chapman, that's Professor Henry Chapman from Birmingham University. Henry was always there plotting our finds, doing a scan of the landscape, marking out trenches and making sure the whole system is tied into our new 3D graphics package for the landscape. Danny Wood. Community is very important to Time Team and she is a community archaeologist at heart and also a small finds expert. She'll be taking us behind the scenes to what happens to all those finds. And because we're doing it on Patreon and YouTube, we'll be able to do more specific details on individual finds that you want us to show you. She'll be teaming up with Time Team's regular conservator, Bridget Gallagher, who will be working remotely from a New Zealand base and keeping an eye on how we care for and look after those finds. Neil Holbrook, he's going to be our archaeological supervisor. Neil has led some of our key digs, helping us to uncover lost villas and beautiful mosaics. And he's the perfect candidate to lead our villa dig at Broughton. Susanna Lipscomb, an old friend of Time Team, historian Susie, puts the site and physical artifacts within a historical context looking at the documents and the written record and finding some of those stories behind the archaeology and history that are really going to be fascinating. Jimmy Adcock. Jimmy is our GPR guru working alongside John and he will be able to map the sites in incredible 3D detail that we're hoping to get from the new Marla system. This is sort of information we've probably never seen in this amount of detail before and Jimmy will be in charge of that whole package. And there's going to be some new faces. Natalie Haynes. We're thrilled to be joined by classicist and comedian Natalie, who brings her classical underpinning and unique sense of humour to the digs, placing finds and discoveries within their cultural context. Derek Pittman. Deputy Head of the University of Bournemouth's Archaeology Department and one half of the Career in Ruins duo. Derek is an old friend of Time Team and he's got a new range of technology that enables him to analyse the chemistry of the soil and we'll really be looking forward to seeing how that works. Lawrence Shaw. Lawrence is Lead Historic Advisor for the Forestry Commission and Derek's Career in Ruins partner and has tremendous skills in large data landscape using things like LiDAR to look through layers that are covered in forests and see what's underneath. It's a superb skill which will enable us to see what's going on below the surface levels. Pete Spencer is both a field archaeologist and our data analysis expert. He'll be putting together all the data we have and turning it into 3D images, which we'll share with you during the filming. Off screen, we also have many of our original production, camera, sound and graphics crew. This is what gives us the amazing team experience of Time Team. Old friends coming together, bringing their skills and people we've known over 20 years. We know how reliable they are, how they'll back us when things start getting tough. And that's really important. So Tony Robinson is taking a step back from presenting duties, but he has given his full support as honorary patron and self-confessed chief super fan. We're talking to many potential presenters. We'll let you know who are the key people who will be playing the presenter role. Listen out for more additions to the team coming soon. While Time Team's resident artist, Victor Ambrose, is sadly no longer with us, we're delighted that he'll be there in spirit through his prolific catalogue of work. Over the years, Victor documented thousands of scenes, bringing the sites to life by populating them with believable human characters and figures. With the family's blessing, we'll be hoping to draw upon Victor's immense archive to help us reconstruct the sites in his unique and characteristic style. 
Sue Breeze, Time Team's original digital artist in residence, will be looking after the Victor archive. She'll be integrating his figures and pictures into the wider landscape. An artist herself, Sue will be able to paint the wider context for us and reproduce those beautiful images that showed us exactly what the past looked like. Technology has moved on dramatically since the last series. We can now cover larger areas and process more data on the spot and in the field. A range of sophisticated scanning techniques including ground penetrating radar, lidar, photogrammetry, these can be mounted on drones and we can see the site in an interactive way as a series of multi-layered maps above and below ground. We can see both the bigger picture and the microscopic soil or artifact composition in phenomenal detail. We'll be using advanced landscape software that will allow us to show you the landscape and all the relevant areas of data from all our geophysics, LiDAR and other applications. This will be all integrated into one system which we can share with you live during the shoot. During filming, we'll be taking Time Team's interaction with our supporters to a whole new level. With a range of content, we're calling Time Team's Dig Watch. This will be your access to the dig with as live blogs, live Q and A's, trench and digger cams, and expert analysis. We'll also be sharing with you digital data like LiDAR scans and geophys results. This is the kind of material that we would never have time for in just a short one hour program. So there'll be extra material being uploaded for our YouTube friends and particularly for our supporters on Patreon. You may also be aware that we've been conducting research on sites that came from you, the fans, and are our archeological colleagues, which may form the basis for next year's digs. Your continuing support will mean we can do initial research and even limited geophys to test potential results. These results will be shared with you. Finally, we are researching training and educational options. We're exploring the links to well-being and other benefits that you have mentioned. And we'll be enhancing our support for initiatives like the Young Archaeologist Club, Carenza's Dig School, and we are looking at a whole range of other ways you can access archaeology. We've now set the goal to reach 7,000 Patreon subscribers by the 18th of July. This will enable us to offer an even greater online accessibility and interactivity during the research and development stage and in the filming of the digs themselves and in the post-excavation aftermath. It's great that these shoots are happening, but please don't forget that it's an ongoing process. After the digs, we've still got to do the post-excavation work. We've got to edit the programs and add all the after-shoot reconstruction graphics, write the archeological report, and of course, leave a legacy for the local community to continue work on the sites. So please keep supporting us. Let's keep it going and keep subscribing on Patreon now.